Uh, this version of Flash, actually. Flash CS5, I don't like it that much. I've been having problems with it. One thing, the, the best advice I can give you is to make sure you save often. Save, like, every 10 minutes. Because, um, I... I uh, the other day, what was that? That was Monday when I started working on Beans and Frank. I had worked for like three hours and then uh, CS5 just crashed for no reason. And I lost all that work. I was pissed. And, you know, I got a, my computer is, is souped up, so it's not my computer. I don't have any problems with anything else. Um, just flash CS5. It, it's crashed on me a lot. Like every once in a blue moon, when I forget to save, it'll crash on me. So the best advice I can give you is to always save. Save like as much as possible. I'm not saving on this tutorial because, uh, you know, I don't need to save this. But always want to get in the habit of saving. Like this, I don't particularly care for this version of Flash. I like Flash MX better than this. I feel like Flash MX was a more stable um, program. Like I never had any problems with Flash MX. That's that's the Flash I was using before I used this. Uh, I never had any problems with that crashing. That's also the pre Adobe Flash. Like it's like there weren't any problems until Adobe took over Micromedia or whatever. I can see where I got some gaps in here, so I'm going to go fix that. So that didn't take too long. How, how long was that? Like 15, 20 minutes maybe? That's, That's right, Reggie. Right, no, no meaningless battles. battles. Number, Number one, one rule, rule of being ninja. ninja. Besides, Besides, do you think... Hold on, did I miss something? <laughs> oh, I filled that by accident. Ninja. Ninja. Besides, Besides, do you think, think she could even stand, stand a, a chance? chance? Okay, so about to set up and do the shadows now. So first thing I'm going to do is um, these lines, this green line right here, I'm going to delete all those. Just because when I go to do the shadows, it's going to mess up my lines when I do that. And I always like to start from the beginning. So just go through, double click them, and delete. Uh, another way you can do this, if you don't want to double click these, I just find this way faster. You can also select the entire frame go to your stroke color and then hit this slash and that'll get rid of it so that that'll that'll make uh, doing the shadows a lot faster too I just find it faster just to double click and delete it like I'm hitting I'm double clicking this and then hitting delete on the keyboard I find that faster than having to go all the way over here select the whole thing and do all that stuff and uh, I might be talking really fast so you know if uh if you watch this video and you have any questions, you know, just hit me up on, on uh, email. I have a tendency to talk really fast sometimes by accident. Um, all right, so now we're ready to do the shadows, my least favorite part. All right, so what I'll do, uh, you can sort of see right here I have an idea. Let's pretend I didn't do that and I was just doing this from scratch. Let's just slide that over. Pretend I don't have a reference to work from. Basically, what I'll do is, um, I, like I said, I keep the shadows real basic. So normally, it's either going to be shadows are going to either be on the left side or the right side. Um, for this particular shot, because um, I don't know why, just because of how I feel, I want the shadows to be on the right side. So just zoom in. 
Make sure you're on the right layer for this. You don't want to do the shadow lines on the wrong layer. That's annoying. So, um, all right. And oh, okay. One more thing. I'm using the line tool for this. Um, you you have an intuos, so you might be more comfortable actually doing this um, using the pencil tool. Like, uh, let me see. I got my got my Wacom hooked up. So what you can do, um, if you don't want to use the line tool, what you can do, um, you know, pencil tool is the same thing. Just make sure you got um, smooth selected right here, and then uh, when you go to properties. Um, I think if your if your properties window isn't open, you can go to window, and then properties right here. Um, you go to properties, and make sure your smoothing is cranked up to like, I would see say even more than that, maybe like 75. And if you don't know about smoothing, what that's gonna do is when you make a line, when you make a line, like if I make a jittery line, it smooths it out for you. So. I make a shaky line and smooth it right so you want your lines to be uh, pretty straight for the shadows the reason I don't use the pen tool is because um, if you draw if you like like I, I come from a background of inking with a pen and a brush pen and so when I do it on paper I do it real I make slow and careful and precise lines and flash kind of punishes you for not not drawing fast if that makes any sense so if you do quick if you could do if you could do quick lines like this like I have a hard time doing quick lines like that if you could do quick lines like that where they come out pretty straight then maybe not as quick as I'm doing this but it actually doesn't look too bad and uh, you could do it this way if you want me personally I'd rather use a mouse with the line tool I feel like it's a little bit more accurate it's not too bad you know just my preference I like to use the line tool so it's up to you I think um, if you're doing a lot of curved lines this might be better like I'm gonna do the nose right here stuff like that pencil tools better uh, but yeah so we got these lines right so what I'll do is I'll look at the next frame. If it's uh like that, that's pretty similar. So what I'll do is I'll grab these lines. Now there might be a shortcut for what I'm about to do. If there is, I don't know it. So what I'll do is you gotta pick the pick the arrow tool, go through, double click these lines to select them. Like you can't just hit them once to select them. You gotta double click them. So it selects the entire line and then just hold down shift and do that for all the lines that you drew and if you mess up like let's say you do this you could just hit control Z and go back and just make sure you have every single line selected you don't want to miss any lines and then uh, control C or Apple C for you go to the next frame paste in place now when you paste it in place because the frame is moving you're gonna to have to adjust it a little bit and what I use as a sort of reference point is the nose shadow so I'll sort of do it based on where the nose shadow is so you can sort of pinpoint where it's supposed to be and you know this stuff doesn't have to be a hundred percent the shadows are like icing on the cake you know so it doesn't need to look as precise as as like the drawings. Like that right there is fine. I just fix this. Matter of fact. Do it like that. And just make sure you close all your gaps. You don't want any gaps. Just make sure all your gaps are closed. Oh, okay, so you see what I did? I just made a mistake. Uh, I did my shadow lines on the wrong layer. So, uh, I happened to notice that because you can see the next frame is, uh, it drops down to right here. So, this, these are, this, this is the shadow line I just made. This is where I wanted it to be. So, what you can do, 
if you got it selected uh, I'm gonna cut it um, Apple X to cut and then just go down to right here where you wanted it paste in place there you go and then uh, just go to the next one and that's kinda different so I'm gonna probably have to redraw this and you sorta of have to memorize where you put the last lines so sometimes I'll, I'll cycle back and forth just to see where I put my last lines and like I said it doesn't need to be a hundred percent accurate just as long as it's like approximate and another reason I like using a line tool is I feel like it works better I think these straight lines work better with how I draw so somebody with like a, I guess like a looser style might prefer using the pencil tool And kind of the thing I base my shadow work off of is um, um, anime and uh, Batman the Animated Series. If if you can look, they they have like a real basic way of doing shadows, and it's kind of the way I do them. Like I actually I have a Batman the Animated Series art book where you can sort of analyze how they did it. Uh, you know what I forgot? I forgot the nose shadows. I'm just going to copy and paste this. And then once it's there, you can copy it. Paste it on the next frame. Okay, now these two are similar, so we can recycle that. Paste in place. Oh, um, I don't think I mentioned this, but I'm, I'm right-clicking and going to free transform to bring up this bounding box and then um, uh, once you got free transform open you can take the center point you know this point is where it rotates from so you can just like I can see she's leaning forward so I just go forward like that and then like I said I use the nose shadow as a reference point and try to match that up and then just make sure there's no gaps okay one thing um, I think on this frame uh, I think I have the hair on a different layer actually I got it labeled so right okay now one thing uh, for this I'm gonna turn the hair off you know you got this eyeball thing so you can turn it off so I can do the shadows so that won't mess me up right okay I don't know how I remember that I just noticed a mistake I made. <laughs> we won't tell anybody though. You can see the arms uh, flip, but I'm sure nobody will notice that. I 
that's all right. So I think the next couple of frames are pretty similar. Yeah, so we can copy and paste that again. And you notice right, I didn't even do a neck line because I'm just going to fill that. 